any good things about being a woman. Well, not in my case anyway. Might be alright for you. Got a nice place to live. Enough money to get yourself some decent clothes. Have a cafe latte with your friends. Maybe even got a decent bloke. Someone who doesn't get pissed and start to get nasty. Every time I see one like that, he's always heading in the other direction. Yeah, I know, there's always your family. Mum's given up drugs now, and I know she really cares about me, but uh, she's had a hard life herself. After Dad broke her jaw, she finally kicked him out. But it's all she can do to keep her own shit together, so she can't do nothing for me. And the new bloke she's with doesn't want to be bothered with my problems. Anyways, they have enough troubles with me brother trying to keep his ass out of jail. <laughs> yeah, but you know what's good, despite all that? Me two kids. Shane, he's four. He's a little bugger, but gorgeous. And me daughter Skye, she's seven now. Go to the local school. All the teachers love her. Say so she's real clever. And at home, she's an angel. She never gives me a bit of trouble. Whenever I get upset, she comes over, gives me a big cuddle and says, don't cry, mummy. You know what? It's like a little ray of sunshine. and Pretty soon the tears dry up whenever I see that lovely, innocent face staring at me. Yeah, I don't know how I'd survive if I didn't have those two. Not that they're a total breeze to look after though, mind you. And Terry, that's their father. <laughs> He's never been much help. Don't get me wrong, he's not a bad man, but geez, he can be a bastard. Sometimes when he comes home, I have to send the kids off to their room because I know there's going to be a blow. And then it starts. What have you been doing all day? He always finds something to criticise. Says the housework's not done. Accuses me of neglecting the kids. Me. He does nothing to help me. He even suggested I might be carrying on behind his back. That's a joke. Not with two young kids. I don't think so. He even made me go and see a mental health worker. I did it just to shut him up and not get myself in the way of his hand. So, finding things a bit difficult? Oh, managing. Trouble organising your daily tasks? I get everything done. Your partner, Terry, says... Oh, what are you listening to him for? What the fuck would he know? He says he comes home and there are food scraps all over the place and flies and cockroaches. The children are running around without any clothes and you're off doing other things and not caring for their welfare. Well, that's a bloody lie! Do you ever feel like hurting the children? Listen, I would never hurt those kids. They mean everything to me. Would you say you were irritable? You're making me irritable. Do you ever spend lots of money? Ha! Give me lots of money and I'll spend it all right. Look, lots of money's not part of my life. I'll pass on that one. I think we need to prescribe some medication for you. You seem a bit out of control. It's not me that's out of control, darling. It's this fucked up world I've got to live in with all the shits in it, including Terry. And you. I have to warn you that we're rather concerned about the welfare of your children. If things don't take a turn for the better, you could lose them. <coughs> lose them? Huh. There's no other bastard that could look after them might have to go into foster care. Okay, okay. Hey, I'll do anything you say. I'll, I'll go on your pills. Just take your threat and leave us alone. So, I started on the medication. Maybe it relaxed me a bit, which is not such a bad thing, but of course that made me even more worn out. And Well, the kids see that and they run all over you. But have still, in my opinion, been looking after their every need, which is not easy when Terry's ranting around screaming at me. That upsets them, that does. And it upsets me too. And now he's saying he's just about had enough. I don't know what that's about. He's getting real chummy with that bitch from the club. You know the one with the long blonde hair and the big boobs? Yeah, I've seen them talking together, getting on like a house on fire. What an idiot he is. She's only using him. I'll admit, she doesn't have two hangers on like I've got. The only hangers on she has are the ones in front of her chest. 
Well, stuff you then. Go. See if I care. Christ, you bastard. First you crap all over me and then you leave me alone. No oh, shit. Terry, I'm sorry. I'll try harder. Please don't leave. Terry? That's my name. I didn't think you'd be here this early. Good to see ya. Lucky I got good eyesight. Don't think I would have found you in all this mess. Where you been all day? What do you mean? I've been right here. You could have. No, it's down in this brothel. You've been out, haven't you? No, no, honest, I've been right here. Look, I'll admit I'm not the world's most organised person and sometimes I just don't know where to start, but I'll get started on it right now. Just give me a chance. I... <sighs> I'd say you got started on it quite some time ago. And I'm not talking about the housework. That's what you've been doing, isn't it? That's why you can't get anything done around here. You've been out shutting! <laughs> You can piss off with whoever it is you've been seeing. And tell him not to show his ass anywhere near me because it's his fucking head off. Oh, and you can forget about keeping the kids because they're going to the marks. I won't be seeing you later. <laughs> Yeah. 